Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. I am Rachel from Rachel Reads and today I'm going to be doing my very late August haul. Um, I honestly have no idea how big this haul is going to be. I just have piles and piles of books and bags but you know let's see what we've got. I'm not going to go through the synopsis of the books. Um, I'll just tell you what I have bought and where I got it from. So all of these books I have picked up either in store or online. There's no thrift store books this time. Yeah, and I paid for all of them myself. So, you know, it was very expensive and I'm loving, you know, I'm loving getting back into reading and um, really enjoying my reading at the moment. So hopefully, you know, you will love some of these books too. So without further ado, let's get into the haul. And I'm just going to pick up bags and we'll do it that way. Okay, the first bag I've got here is from Robinsons and it really annoys me how they don't um, tell you, like, the bags and tell you where it's from, but I can just remember. So, I bought these books on the 8th of August and I got Kirsten Hannah's Between Sisters. Now, I love Kirsten Hannah. Um, and I saw this and I was like, yes, I need to get it. Um, so I picked this one up. And I also got The Secretary. Um, I think this was on like a recommendation, um, recommendation shelf, which is why I picked it up. I also really like the cover. It looks kind of cool. So they were the only two from Robinson's on that particular trip. Okay, next I have a bag from QBD, and you all know when I go to QBD, I go overboard. Started, um, someone told me that I would, because I'm a teacher, um, and I actually need to read for my job because we have tutorial time and I'm on the literacy team, that I could claim all of these books. I'm not sure if that's true or not, but I'm going to start clean. I'm going to start keeping all of my receipts, which is why you can see me taking them out of the bag. Anyway, I bought these books on the 8th of August as well. Oh, look at that. Okay, the first one that I got was The Perfect Wife. I mentioned this in my thriller TBR. I didn't end up reading it, um, but it does look good and it's by J.P. Delaney. I then got The Good Teacher by um, PJ Kelly. I got this because it's about teaching and this is so heavy, like it is really weighty. But still, it's not like those new white pages that I've been talking about, but it looks good. I got... I got a new copy of Into the Water because I have a copy already, but it's missing its dust jacket and it's just not appealing. And this one was on sale to $12.99. Um, so I decided to pick up another copy of Paula Hawkins's Into the Water. And there was a deal when I went to QBD that if you bought The Perfect Wife, you got a free copy of 13. So I've got a, co a third copy of 13 by Steve Kavanagh. However, you'll notice that I there'll be another one of these in this haul um, because I'd already bought it online, but you know, it was free. So I was gonna take it and I'll give this one away to somebody. And TBD is giving away mini books. Um, so I got two of those because I spent, I think it's every $20 you spend or every 50, I don't know. You spend money and you get books. Um, I'm not going to keep these for myself. I'll give them away to someone. I don't usually take them, but you just put them in the bag. So, you know, I've got too many books. Okay, this box is from a... This box is from a different haul. I don't know why it's still on my shelf, but that needs to get thrown away. Um, okay, so I also got Moment of Truth by Mandy Magro and this is an Australian country book. I picked it up um, because it was on sale and I picked this up from Kmart. It was the only book I picked up in this particular visit. You know, I love a good Demex visit. Um, and I actually, these are actually probably my most recent buys. I purchased these on the 25th of the 8th, so this last weekend. And actually, they weren't both from Demex. Um, Some We Know is from Demex by Sherry Lapina. And I accidentally already bought a copy of this and I forgot. And 
I got baby tea on the same day and I got this um, baby tea by Zoe Stage and I got this from QBD and when I bought that I got another of the mini book collectibles. Next bag that I have is from Big W and I picked oh and there is something from QBD in here as well because they make you pay for the so from QBD I got Into the Night by Sarah Bailey and I got The Milkman by Anna Burns and these were buy one get one half off and I know I've seen The Milkman around everywhere and I've been meaning to pick it up for a while and from like it was from Kmart not Big W I got Where the Dead Go by Sarah Bailey um, Speaking of Big W, this is what the Big W bags actually look like. So this one is actually from Big W. And I bought these on the, the 1st of the 8th. So way back at the start of the month, I got Night by Night by Jack Jordan. I got The Other Woman by Nicola Moriarty. Um, I kept forgetting if I'd actually bought this one off, but I did. I got Come Back For Me by Heidi Perks. Okay. And that was everything from Big W on that trip. I do have a, another bag from a Big W and this one's quite large. And I purchased these on the 15th of the 8th. So this is where I had that other copy of Sherry Lapina, someone we know. I also got The Burnt Country by Joy Rhodes. I got Misconception by Rebecca Freeborn. So you'll notice there's a few, there's not as many um, thrillers in this particular one. I got The Lady in the Lake by Laura Lippman. And I got Snake Island by Ben Hobson. I'm starting to see this around everywhere, so hopefully it's good. Next lot I picked up from Kmart. And you guys would have actually seen me buy these ones in my Thrillerathon vlog. And there are quite a few in here. And they were almost all on sale. So this is the one. So I bought these on the 21st of the 8th and I actually managed to get 10 brand new books for $51 and I also bought two sets of tongs. So I got The Forgotten Letters of Esther Durant by Kay Nunn. I got um, White Sands of Summer by J.H. Fletcher. I don't know why I'm leaning like when I just I'll just do that. I got the Girl They Left Behind by Roxanne Valitz Valitzos. I don't know how to say her name. I got Lessons, My Life, My Path to a Meaningful Life by Giselle Bundenschen. I'm not sure how you say that, but that was only $1.50. Silent Night by Danielle Steele. I got The Woman in the Green Dress by Tay Cooper, or T Cooper, I'm sure it's Tay. So I got out of the Dark by Greg Hurwitz. And last but not least, I got The Aftermath by uh, Redian, Redian Brooke. And I've seen this for ages and I've been thinking about getting it and it was finally on sale, which is why I picked it up. Next from Robinson, The Only Woman in the Room by Mary Benedict. And I also got The Storied Life of AJ Finke by Gabriel Zivin. Okay, the next two, I believe I bought these two online, probably from the book depository, but I can't really remember. And I've got Lies, Lies, Lies by Adele Parks. And I got The Silent Patient by Alex Michaeldes. <laughs> okay, so then from um, book depository, I got A Perfect Family by Shalani Boland from 
Amazon. I've got The Perfect Friend by Barbara Cothway. And these are these really heavy new style of books. I got, this is the original copy of 13 that I bought. The other one was the free one. I got The Defense by Steve Kavanagh. And I also got The Liar by Steve Kavanagh. And I bought those all on my father-in-law's recommendation. And last but not least, you would have also seen this in my Thrillerathon vlog. I got this giant box from Amazon. that came with literally only five books in it and I got I Invited Her In by Adele Parks. Oh I bought two Adele Parks. Didn't realise these and these were all um, Amazon recommendations on things I'd previously bought. I got Our Little Lies by Sue Watton. Watson sorry. I got The Ex-Wife by Jess Ryder. I got The Couple on Cedar Clothes by Anna Lou Weatherly. And last but not least, I got Tell Me a Secret by Samantha Hayes. And I think that's all. So all in all I have, I have 43 books, which is actually even longer than my last haul. I God damn, I need to stop buying books. It's actually scary how many books I now own. Um, but I wanted to film my haul now because now, I'm going to do an interesting TBI in a moment. Um, I'm going to be filming my TBI and it's going to be um, a bit different. So actually you probably would have seen my TBI before you see this video because it's going to go up quite late. It is still technically August when I'm filming this, um, but it'll be September when it goes up, I think. Um, actually, if you want to include the mini books, and I actually got 45 books. So, um, yeah, I decided that I wasn't going to go through all of the synopsis of the books because it just gets tedious and I don't think you enjoy it. Um, if you do, let me know and I can go back to that style of TBR, like that's not a problem, but it takes a long time for me to film and edit um, and I start getting bored doing it. One thing I do like about that is I remember what all of the books are actually about, like um, I generally don't look at them after I've bought them until I'm going to read them um, and it's sometimes nice just to um, read that synopsis again to remind myself what it's about. Um, hopefully you'll get to see some of these on my TBI soon. If there are any that you particularly want, it, want me to read let me know and I'll try and push those up to the top of my TBR. If there are any that you really enjoyed let me know. If there are any that you thought were terrible let me know. I've also um, noticed that I've been spending, like, I've been buying a lot of thrillers and I've tried to move away from that, which is why you can see like, the majority are thrillers and mysteries, but um, a good one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, a good 15 of them are um, either contemporaries or historical fiction or something else. So, you know, a third, a third, a third of the books are something different, which is nice. Um, and I hope you appreciate that. Anyway, thank you so much for watching and I hope that you're liking that I've moved these books down a little bit so you're not just staring at a blank bookshelf. Um, I hope that's something interesting. I'm hoping that, you know, eventually I will fill these all up and they will be nice and full and something for you to look at while you're watching my videos. Thank you so much for watching my latest haul and I will catch you later. Bye.